Uh, now what I've done is I have collected my props for my practice. Um, so I've got my bolster, blocks, yoga strap. Now, I'm very aware that most people are not going to have all of these props at home. Um, so what I have done is I have gone and found some things that maybe will be of help for you so that you can find some of this practice in your own home, okay? So most people likely don't have a bolster, so let's just get rid of that. So for a bolster, a couple of options. Um, I went and found the biggest, thickest yoga mat that we have in the house. Um, it's actually my daughter's yoga mat. Um, but if uh, a yoga mat is not available to you, it's all good. You don't have to use it for on the floor. I'm not going to be using a yoga mat today. I'm, I'm going to be on my rug here to give myself a little bit of traction. If you don't have that available to you though, there's a couple of other options. You could go and find a nice um, thick blanket that you can roll up, fold in a way so that it's a long and skinny shape, okay? Another option is a couple of towels stacked one on top of the other, again, folded into that narrow um, shape, okay? So that's an option. There's our bolster for today. Yoga strap. Uh, this is just a regular old yoga strap. Um, again, maybe not available to you, so let's get rid of that as well. And what I have found is one of my scarves here, okay? Now this is quite a nice long scarf. Okay, so make sure that you f can find one that allows you to move around without having to really reach for the prop. Um, if you don't have a scarf, another option, uh, maybe a necktie or maybe a, um, a belt from a bathrobe is another really good option, okay? I really like to use blocks in my practice. Maybe you don't have blocks at home. It's all good. We're going to get rid of them anyways. Now. I've grabbed a um, chair here. We're likely not going to use the chair today, but I've just grabbed it just so that you have that as an idea in your own head. Actually, maybe we will use the chair at the very end. Um, <laughs> making things up as I go, you guys. Um, so the chair is available to you. Uh, making sure, though, that if you are going to use a chair, particularly for balancing poses, that sort of thing, making sure that it is in a place where it's got some traction, so it's not going to shift on you very quickly. Um, so either on some carpet or a rug, or take it up against the wall um, so that the uh, chair can't move on you there, okay? So those are a couple of options for you. Now, if you wanted more of like a traditional block um, option, I went through my house, just really quickly looked at our um, bookshelves, and the sturdiest books that I found Interestingly, um, originally I had started with uh, my old university textbooks, the hardcover ones. Um, but what I found is that the most sturdy ones and the ones that I could find that were of similar thickness are old um, photo albums. Does anybody have those other than just me? Um, so take a look at photo albums if you've got them in the house. Maybe you've got some smaller ones like I do so that they can be held in one hand quite easily. Okay, so these are essentially block size. Okay, so um, those were just kind of a couple of the ideas that I had as I was thinking outside the box. We're all thinking outside the box these days. 